All right, what do you say we finish up our face off doing a browser comparison? We've got the cache and history cleared on both. The displays are turned up as bright as they will go. They're both running up the same Wi-Fi network. One thing I'll talk about is these load. I'll start with Smartphone Envy. I wanted to do this with both of them in landscape. And what I found in landscape on the HD7 is there's no way to access the bookmarks. Which I thought that was pretty strange. Anyway, the Evo is about done. And again, the Evo is running Froyo 2.2, so it's got full Adobe Flash 10.1. And the uh, HD7 doesn't run Flash. There we go, the Evo 4G is done. Waiting on the HD7. Evo 4G is very smooth. Has that little hiccup when you first start, but once you get it rolling, it's very smooth. Double tap to zoom in. Pinch to zoom. Again, it rewraps the text to fit the display. Just an all-around great browsing experience. And we're still waiting for the HD7. There we go, HD7 is fully loaded. As far as scrolling goes, this is the smoothest phone I've ever used. It's just absolutely amazing how smooth it is. But with all that said, you notice featured video reviews up here at the top. The text for it is down here off to the left as opposed to being next to the pictures like it's supposed to be. You can also see over here on the right there are some issues with for, uh, formatting that as well. So it didn't render my page very well, but it does double tap to zoom in, offers multi-touch, pinch to zoom, all that good stuff. It doesn't reformat or rewrap to fit the uh, window, which is kind of a drag, but anyway. Let's go over to GSM Arena, and we're off. And the Evo 4G is done, and so is the HTC HD7. Put up an article on both of them. See if I got the same one. Of course not. That would be too easy. All right, let's head over to Engadget then, since I messed that up. Evo 4G is done. And the HD7 is done. One of the problems you have with the HD7 if you scroll too fast, you end up with a lot of white. As you can see, don't have that problem with the Evo 4G at all. It completely fills the page from top to bottom. Look at the text. Now, let's take a look at these in, in landscape, and I'll show you what I mean. Obviously, on the Evo, we've got our menu key over here, so we've got our bookmarks right there. Tap on bookmark, bookmarks, and we can get that view or the other view. So that's real simple. Now, let's go on the HD7 and go to that view. And where did my bookmarks go? They're not at the bottom of the page. That doesn't do it. So apparently, to me, if I held down the home key, it takes me home. To me, if I held down the back key, nothing happens if I hold it down, hit the search key, nothing. So, while it looks good in landscape, there's no way to access your bookmarks. 
which I thought was pretty wild. So you have to go back to Portrait, access your bookmarks, decide on where you want to go. We'll go back to Engadget, and then turn it, excuse me, we went to CNN. Then you can turn it into Landscape. And you can see how, rend how quickly it renders a uh, site set up for mobile. It's very quick. So anyway, there's a look at the two browsers. Uh, I'll have all the pictures taken by the two handsets posted on the uh, website, smartphoneenvy.com, along with the written review, so make sure you stop by there and check that out, along with whatever news I get posted as well. I appreciate all you folks watching. Uh, thank you for subscribing. I try and subscribe back to everybody that subscribes. Also, uh, thank you for your comments most of the time. And I guess that's about it. I hope this has been helpful. Take care.